Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and happy Friday. Well, a touch of Disney started yesterday and we got some fantastic, fantastic photos from that event. I'll be at a touch of Disney on April 4th and I'll be live from there and I'll uh, also check on on this. But this is from Inside the Magic. They went yesterday, of course. And got this great photo of the Quinjet in Avengers Campus at nighttime. I mean, look at that beautiful lighting. And I want to just discuss this beautiful photo for just a second because, uh, <laughs> wow, this is great. This is, by the way, the Cars Land view. So, there's a whole bunch of construction walls, of course, from the parade out. But from Cars Land, you can look straight in and it looks a nice, it's a decent, a pretty good transi transition, I'd say, um, from Cars Land to Avengers Campus. When you go in, the little, is that a crane, maybe? A streetlight looking thing? And... There's the feature entrance to Aven the Avengers Quinjet e-ticket attraction, and it just looks great. I love the blues at night. It looks just like the concept art. The concept art was it up again, blue and of course red for the Spider-Man Web Slingers attraction at night. And but um, yeah, the Quinjet just looks very shiny. It looks very nice. I'm sure, the picture itself may be a little blurry due to inside the Magic's picture taking, but. I'm sure in person looks fantastic. I mean, those blue hues, and the, I really like the Avengers logo. So, this is the second place the Avengers logo pops up. There are Avengers logos on the ground on the plaza, right by the building, at the central hub of the campus, as you can see from aerial photos. But, and now the Avengers logo, nice all lit up, is here on this Avengers building. And Avengers Campus in general just looks great. Looks, again, like Tomorrowland, the Tomorrowland of DCA, and that's exactly what the Imagineers admitted they are trying to do. Now let's give DCA like a quasi Tomorrowland area, and what better property to make an IP Tomorrowland than Marvel, right? So that's fantastic, and I, again, I hope that the Avengers ET construction does start construction within the next couple of years, hopefully sooner rather than later, but I am really excited for that attraction if it does come to fruition and I mean that my Avengers campus just wouldn't be complete without that big e-ticket attraction and California Adventure needs as many big e-ticket and dark family rides as well my family dark rides as possible um, and I say put the dark ride in Hollywoodland and put that thrill ride right here in Avengers campus but it looks, it just looks fantastic, and uh, I cannot wait to see, see this in person. But what do you guys think? Do you guys like this? Do you guys, are you excited for Avengers Campus? By the way, Avengers Campus will not return with the park on April 30th. It will not open with the park on April 30th. It'll probably open later in the summer when the capacity limits are higher, and then when they can build up its own grand opening event and build up the hype and all that good stuff. Um, it'll probably be in the yellow tier or green tier. In the summertime, so they can actually have enough capacity limits attendance to let a, a good enough good amount of people inside the land as well. But what do you guys think about Avengers Campus and the Quinjet attraction and the Quinjet itself at uh, how it looks at night? I think it looks fantastic. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates and Avengers Campus updates, and have a fantastic day.